So this is a 69 Saab. You might remember this car. We built this on our TV show uh, that was on a network on cable. I'm not gonna say the name, but uh, we're finishing it up now and it's turning out awesome. So we got a 2.3 EcoBoost in there with the six speed trans behind it. Uh, it's gonna be... <laughs> really? What? Trying to do an interview here. Headlight mic. <laughs> so anyway, we're working on our charge pipes. We're getting the intercooler in here, radiator plumbing, all that stuff. Wiring's just about done. It's just about ready to fire up. So then we're gonna move it to upholstery, then get the windows done, get all the glass in it. It's a heavily inspired race car. So this thing is pretty much the coolest stop I've ever seen. So when, when Adam came to us, he, he rendered this thing out in a tan color and then we got lucky enough to change it to green, which I'm a fan of green. So here it is in green. We're gonna put uh, numbers on the doors. It's gonna be really rally car, but modern. So anyway, this is Nick's little hole. He, uh, he does the motorcycle stuff, so, well, he does a little bit of everything, but motorcycles is his job now. So here's another bike that uh, we got in a couple months ago. We got it assembled, getting some parts coming. We're gonna be building this thing. Huge back tire. Obviously, we put a Springer front end on it, because that's what's cool. Yeah. It's a, it should be huge horsepower, too. Right side drive. It's, it's a, definitely a, like, mid 2000s is what you would see but we're going to change up some stuff uh cut some holes in the tank and dimple it in and make it look neat so that one over there is actually a bike that we built holy hell 2007 10 11 years ago yeah yeah something, like that. something a long time ago so since since we've built it it's been in a couple different hands uh same owner but uh it's been repainted uh, some of the wiring was kind of eh, so we're freshening that up, putting a whole new harness in it, making it so it won't catch fire. <laughs> and actually start it. Yeah, and ride it. So that's kind of cool. A little bit of a throwback there for you. So that's how long we've been doing it. And Dancing bear. <laughs> All right. So this is for a customer out of Texas, right? Yes, it is. So he brought us a bike that was built in 2001, right? From uh, Iron Horse? Yes, or Texas Iron Choppers, Horse. something like that. Anyway, it was a really cool bike. Um, he unfortunately needs a trike now, but fortunately we can make him a trike. So it's, it's really cool. It's an old school looking chopper. <clears throat> We put a Springer front end on it, a different headlight, uh, did some floorboard work, exhaust work, obviously made, made it three wheels. Yep. And I think it turned out pretty cool. Uh, it's got air ride, so he's gonna be comfortable. Uh, the only thing left is uh, what, the seat and a couple, a little bit of wiring and yep. it's, it's ready to go back to Texas and. It goes uh, drop it like it's hot or lukewarm. Or like iced tea, possibly. that took forever. Iced tea. It's not like dropping it like it's hot. It's like kind of cold. Like oh, I thought you meant like a lot like, of orders. Like you're in the Arctic. Tea. 
It's a little chilly. You don't, don't move as well. It let it flies up. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. pretty badass bike. You might see us riding this here soon. So, voila. Yeah. This is Megan. You might remember her face too. And yes, hi. She's my girlfriend, <laughs> and she's so pretty. So yeah, what you doing? Getting some bottle openers out. Yeah, a little stuck. Yeah. Well, cool. I'm gonna introduce everybody to everybody else. All right. What's up? I'm Justin Nichols. You may recognize the shop and some of the stuff going on in here. But uh, let me run you around here. I'm gonna let you know what's going on. You all know Nick Roberts over there. Hi, I gotta go to the store and get parts. Bye. So let's go this way. I want to introduce you. That's Mike over there. Mike, say hi. He's a new face. He doesn't talk much, but uh, that's, a, that's a build that we started not too long ago. It's a 46 Chevy. We've got an LT5 in it, you know, 800 horse, automatic. The guy's actually in a wheelchair, so we're putting this thing together for him. It's gonna be freaking awesome. This is probably my favorite project in here right now. It's a 32 Ford. Uh, we got a 5.0 Coyote motor in it. Um, it's going to be a twin turbo. So the turbos are going to be in the headlight. It's all going to be intercooler and radiator mess in here. Haven't got that far yet, but it's going to be done by next summer. So. So we've got a Jaguar here. You don't see too many Jaguars. So this one's getting LS3, automatic trans, new chassis, all new suspension, air ride, all that fun stuff. And we all know Ziggy. Hey, Roof. Hi, buddy. Give me a high five. Hey, Roof. <laughs> I know. Let's try it again. High five, Ziggy. God damn it. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> That's Cody peeking his head through the window. So you may recognize this car. Reality is TV cars are TV cars. You got to get them done in a hurry. And uh, we're getting it knocked out. Uh, it's driving. It's a great car now. Uh, it's getting ready to go back to the customer in Florida. So putting the window back in it. It's uh, coming together, it's gonna look awesome. So with that being said, uh, this is our first video to let you guys know that something cool is happening. Keep watching. If there's a subscriber like button, hit that so you know what's going on. And then just keep watching. We're gonna come out with some episodes and some fun stuff, right? Did you say Mentos? Mentos, yeah. the fresh maker. I thought that's what you just That's our first sponsor. Hey, Mentos. But anyway, so. Now we're talking cannons. No more propane cannons. We got Mentos cannons. Right. I bet we can hit the water tower. Let's try. Second episode. We're gonna hit the water tower with Mentos cannon. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, just letting you guys know. Um, here shortly, you're gonna start seeing some fun and cool stuff. So, and it's gonna be real life, and it's gonna be neat. So, bye.